Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Pat Proverbs here from One in Gaming, throwing up those heavy ones as usual. And I got another six minute pretty insane gameplay for you. I'm free. Uh, it's a double or triple team chem. Don't hold me to it. You're only watching one perspective anyway. So I, I believe, I know it's at least two. Um, but this is my boy Dice again, and you can notice I kept the chem countdown counter up there because I really enjoyed the way it looked and I, and it just shed some clarity on like where he is on the kill chain the whole nine. Unfortunately, this is broken up into into two rounds, which you'll see right here um, after this kill. So he'll need 20 going into the next round. But I have a lot to talk about today, and I want to start first and foremost. We're talking about how pleased I was with. The version 4 channel trailer for One in Gaming, uh, the two-minute chem, and, and how Kyle, my boy Kyle 1N, actually made a good point, which was, why didn't you start the counter from his first kill? If you do that, it's about a 1 minute and 51 second chem, which is about 8 to 10 seconds off of what I know to be the world record. So it would have been close. I don't necessarily agree with how these big YouTubers do it. Like, it shouldn't start on your first kill. That seems to me to be a little cheap. It should start on, like, as soon as you die and then you go on that streak, and that respawn should be when the timer starts. At any rate, it's all the more kudos to Dice for doing it. That was 110 and 5 gameplay, double chem, quad team chem, but he actually, he called in to himself. So this is on Freight, and this is kind of a while ago it's not stale footage uh it's just you know th this spawn trap on freight is probably the most devastating in the game even more so than strike zone um they will continue to spawn here as long as someone's sitting behind him if you look at the mini map you see that that is actually our killer sitting there it kind of locks down the spawn they get shot while they're defenseless but let me talk about how thrilled i am with the oops how thrilled i am with the uh uptick in in subscribership and viewership to our videos and how much i fucking that means to us as a team yeah it means so much and it's so cliche that it's, it's almost painful to say because i know you hear a lot of these big youtubers oh thank you for 500k thank you for a million like i can't tell you how much but honestly guys we're nowhere near that nor will we probably ever be but i just want to say we really do appreciate those subscribers we have and those viewers and we, we, we want to give you guys content that, that you want to see. And I only hope we can continue to live up to the standards of, of entertainment and, and, and great gameplays. Um, but really, guys, I really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart. And my team's heart. I know that they, they appreciate it as well. I know you see a lot of me. You'll start seeing a lot of them soon, though. So that'll be fine. I'm going to try to get these guys to start doing commentaries because there's not a better group of guys. You couldn't ask for a better group of guys. Uh, every day, it's just it's hilarity at its finest. Uh, I love my team. I would do anything for my team, and, and, and they know that. And I think that's why we just have such a, a close-knit relationship and, and really just enjoy playing these games. Because these games can get a little bit on, on anyone's nerves eventually, but as long as you surround yourself with the right people, uh, you can always kind of bear down and grind through it. But anyway, let's spend the next two or three minutes on what the, the topic was going to be for this video, but I've decided I'm actually going to do another video either later today or tomorrow to shed some light and, and clarity on clan wars, what they are, how you win them, uh, the, whole, uh, the whole deal with the territories or game modes because that's essentially what a territory is. So I can tell you guys right now, one in gaming in the Los Angeles clan war, the active one, we hold the domination node and the crank node. Those nodes are actually, and there we go, boom, bitches, let's go, hoes. Um, anyway, so basically those two nodes or game modes are what they call territories. Uh, domination is the port and cranked is the research facility. Holding a node, all it is is it's about wins as a team. So if you have me playing or any other one end gaming member playing with at least one other one end gaming clan member you're getting so if you have two players you're getting two wins if you have six which is why that's the incentive to play with larger teams people in your clan you get six wins per actual win like every game you win if six members of your clan are on your team uh you get six wins 
So that's how it works, and that's the only metric through which they base like how you hold and conquer territories. It's just wins. There's no other algorithm or equation um, for, for figuring out you know, how you win. It's just a win is a win. The more people you have, the more wins you get. You climb the ladder, you ultimately hold the territory. If you hold the territory, you get some in-game bonuses, XP bonuses. Cranked affords you a 25% bonus to your raw XP earned that game. Not only clan XP, but also individual XP. Domination, because it's naturally a higher score in game mode, only gives you a 20% bonus. But I'm going to do a video with maybe an escape from extinction with five relics on with my boy Ark later today. We'll use that escape um, and we'll talk much more about clan wars and how they work because I'm still getting questions about how to earn clan XP from the video I did about a week and a half ago. Um, and I just want to help you guys out as best I can. And there you go, guys. That's the end of that video. It's just a quick chem for you guys on freight. I'm going to be doing another video, like I said, about clan wars. Um, the territories, conquering them, what they mean, uh, the challenges associated with them to the best of my knowledge because Infinity Ward has not really done a great job in disseminating just what those challenges are. But anyway, guys, for anything and everything One Nation Gaming, keep it tuned right fucking here. Stay fucking beautiful, people, and we will see you later. Take it easy.